showing any uh, miles per hour on the traction motor and make sure the number one is loading. There's some radio chat going on right now. Sorry for the shaking. Okay, have her go in to uh, notch two and see if it shows any movement, and then go in reverse and notch one, notch two, and show if it's loading in any movement. I've been hearing this a lot apparently, just about five minutes ago. Is the locomotive moving though? Okay, that's normal. I mean, that's fine. I mean, we're seeing if the motor moved without it, be, you know, being set centered, you know what I mean? Under a load. All right, cool. Let's do a rolling inspection and see how it goes. Wasn't specking this today. You want to look for flat spots, electrical smells, and you'll, you know, anything out of the usual if it's loading or, or if it's uh, making any noise or anything. Try to roll at least the engine length or so. All right, that's it. To uh, hit that diagnostics, or, or go to your active instance, it should still be good in order to reset the fault. <clears throat> there goes that thing again. Oh, whoops. There we go. Go ahead and cut out that number um, number one traction motor, and we'll go ahead and start pulling or we'll load test it and see what we get real quick. Go ahead and cut out that number one traction motor. Uh, this is probably interesting. They're probably having some issues with the locomotive or something, which I probably never heard this before or seen it. So I haven't expected this to happen today. In a Super Bowl. Because I hear a lot of beeps going on right now because the beep just keeps going all over and 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 over again. Just a TMCO number one. And turn it back online and have her put it in forward and notch one and see if it loads. What do you say? Shut up! God, I hate 2810 so much. He just comes out and says, hey, what do you say? And I'm just so mad. I wanted to. Uh